guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing some bakasura in the solo lane trying to show the man some love because he's finally a little bit better than he used to be only a little bit mostly bad god mostly bad in solo we're playing him anyways golden blade buff um berserkers existing death toll buff have made Baka all a lot better over the past like two months or so. So he's at least a lot better in solo than he used to be. Um, overall, maybe not so much, but at least in solo, he stands out quite a bit more. But he's definitely not remotely meta. He's probably a bad idea. But if you guys like Baka or you want to mix things up, he's somebody that you can at least make work. But it can be a little tricky. All right, let's see if we can hopefully not get too screwed on the levels here. Nice. Not too screwed, man. Not too screwed. We don't get kicked. We smack the man's face really hard. God, that was a pretty even trade right there. So close, dude. I really want to jump on him, but I think it's an in. <laughs> I want to jump on him. So actually, what do you have? He's, why do you have beads? He's got beads. I don't understand. All right. Kind of funky. No TP, no med. None of that. Nice. We get a little bit of wave aggro off this. We want to just try and like kind of sustain up right now. So we're just kind of spamming pots and not really doing anything too aggro because minions are going to clap my cheeks. And I actually would have been a little bit good if we could have gotten hit by a mannequin auto there. Ooh, Loki. Loki, give it to me. You not have jump? That's not where he went. That's fine. <laughs> I thought he'd try and sneak off into the jungle. Yeah, he just got way too extended there, man. He was trying to pressure really hard, and there was, like, no chance he'd kill me. That was a little too much. It's funny, it's been a while since uh, since Season 9 came out, right? It's been a little bit at this point. And it's still funny how often people just, like, don't really, aren't really ready for, um, for the cringe ganks that happen this season, man. You get cringe ganked so much more often now. It's so much easier. Because a lot of the jungle time is just like, okay, you have a start, you finish the start, you can mostly do whatever you want after that because the farm is so bad. Um, so you can just kind of rotate anywhere. And it can be a stupid rotation and it doesn't even matter that much. Okay, what are you kicking at, my man? Why are you trying to kick for poke right now? God, we are bopping this, man. If I could get a little bit more, if tower didn't exist, oh, would have just been free. So this is going to be overall kind of a bad matchup, although given just most solo matchups are kind of bad for Baka, I would say, at least at the moment. Um, but basically, Gilgamesh, big bully. Baka, very easy to get bullied by Gilgamesh. So it's going to be something where we got to play this pretty careful all the time. He's going to have a lot of instantaneous burst that he can just get off and dip. And that's the big issue with Baka at the moment, uh, or really just in general, but it stands out a lot right now. Is there's not enough reward for his long-term damage, and so you just generally get kind of bopped really quick, and then your three doesn't really do anything because you, like, pop three, and they either just run away... Or they instantly, like, CC chain you, and then they run away. And they get a little poke off first. So it's kind of hard to get too much done with him. But obviously, once we get ult, the ult can have a big impact. He does have a bead, so it's going to have a lot less of an impact. Normally, soul laners aren't going to build beads against it. Um, so in that case, we might have to look to go, like, mid and stuff for big plays. Okay. Little baby damage. I'm fine with it. Okay, you've got to stop. <laughs> Why can't I eat him, man? Why can't I just eat Gilgamesh? That should be good. Honestly, Baka is so bad, boys. I am down for 100% HP execute on his two. Just give me the frags. I don't know why this man keeps kicking me. I kind of want to like... Oh, hi. Okay, stop that. Wait, do I actually die here? Damn, I thought we'd get a kill Pele. I try... Oh! <laughs> Dude, if she didn't have passive... Let's go, Loki, my boy. Oh my god, I tried to go for the big brain turn. We didn't quite get it. I still think it was big brain. We just got a little unlucky, man. One thing I was forgetting is obviously the splash auto still existed, and her just splash autoing my minions did more than I thought it would. It did a lot, man. It did a lot. We took 400 from her ult, but we almost got the turn. Minions were putting in work right there. We got so much damage off right there. Oh my god. 450 from the ult, like the actual minions. All right, we got Golden Blade online, big power spike. Let's see if we can get some stuff done with it. Obviously, no ult means we don't get to do a ton right now because ult is just kind of what Baka does. Okay, Gilg does have ult, but there is a Loki around. What are you kicking, my man? Get bullied. Get bullied. Why, why is he still trading? <laughs> why is he still fighting me when he's 1 HP? 
All right, I think we just get his blue buff right here, yeah? I kind of want to get him, but jumps exist, so I don't think we get to do that. Oh, he's feeling it, man. Does he actually get this ever? No, he just ults it for no reason. Okay. Yeah, I think he might have been sleeping on the fact that, like, I just get a press two. Maybe? I don't know. Honestly, maybe he gets that. Maybe if I goof it a little bit, maybe he actually gets it. I feel like it's a little bit of a waste of ult, though. Yeah, we probably might as well try and ult him in just a sec. There we go. Yeah, this dude is way too greedy right now. Just fighting me nonstop. I feel bad, man. I feel like I'm just, like, bullying somebody that doesn't even, like... <laughs> I feel like you should be playing this better. You had a Masters border, man. Like, supposedly Masters gamer. I feel like we shouldn't be bullying a Gilgamesh this hard early game, though. Alright, let's go grab blue real quick. And what the hell happened in Duo Dodds popping off early game? Now, what do we level this game? Do we go for the beta 2 level, which is what you normally do, or do we go for the Chad 1 level so that we try and do lots of damage? Honestly, I think for now we level this until we can't. Yeah, hang on. Let me get fruit. All right, come here. Wait, what the? He up-downed? The nerve of this dude. It's fine. We can't catch him. I'll even be. But I'm going to get you soon, bud. All right, I'm going to get you soon. I'm going to beat that ass. Hang on. Come here. Bing. Yeah, you want some? Huh? Why is there a Capri? <laughs> it's not even Pele. It's just, just random ass Capri, man. You want to pull me? I don't care. I'll just do damage. Okay. No, no. I'm not having that, though. I'm going to start swinging. Oh. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? All right. Yep. Give me that Capri ult. Yep. Yep. All right. We kind of goofed that a little bit, Rap, but it's okay. Man, I really ideally wanted Gilg there, but it was pretty obvious that we had to go for Capri once the actual ult went off. Gilg was a little too zoomy. He was going to be able to dip too hard. All right, I think the way we're going to play this game is I'm going to go for a Berserkers. They have a lot of physical damage on that team, so it's going to be, like, extra. That's fine. <laughs> extra impactful. <laughs> I was trying to get the blue buff. This little shit body blocked me off, but at the same time, we have a blue buff, so who cares? Um... Yeah, I think we'll go Berserkers this game. Uh, just because we're fed, we hypothetically can probably get away with Hastened right now and go for big plays, but I don't think it's really... I don't think there's much value in it at the moment. If they had more of, like, a mage-focused team where we couldn't get a very valuable defense item, then we'd probably do that. And just go more for, like, a hyper-carry build. Why do you have Frostbound? Dude, okay, boys, if you guys are losing a matchup, don't go Frostbound. I have been seeing a lot... Dude, I hate Baka Jump with a passion. I hate it... Okay, okay, we need to talk about Bakasura. I'm going to start ranting just because of the fact that that missed, because it's so stupid that it missed. So Baka has two abilities that could not exist, and he would only get slightly nerfed, right? He has his two and his one. His two is basically just a sustainability that sets up for his ult. They could literally change that by just his ult automatically gets six minions, and it'd be fine, right? So his two doesn't need to exist. It doesn't do too much. Gives him very little clear, not very important for clearing camps. You're dead. No, I said you're dead. Start dying. Wait, hang on, he's not dead because Baka jumped so bad, but we haven't gotten to that part yet. Hang on, let me get there. There we go. I actually probably could have just fought the Capri, huh? I didn't know where other people were at, so I was a little bit... Actually, there was a hair around. It was probably good that we jumped. But yeah, Baka jump, I'm pretty sure, is the slowest jump in all of Smite. I could be wrong. It always feels like it. It feels so unbearably slow. It's actually incredible how hard it is to land. On her jump, slow-ass jump, I land that shit all the time. Baka jump is miserable, dude. It's so difficult. So, uh, yeah, high res. If you boys ever feel like making the god a little less suck, could be good. Maybe give faster jump. Maybe give jump some sort of actual value other than just increased damage by 10%, but you'll hit this about 10% of the time, so this might as well not exist, right? You also normally use it to the end, because if you just jump in for 10% damage, you're kind of a dumbass, right? Normally not a good play. So, <laughs> sorry, I just insulted somebody. Yeah, if you guys jump in just to start everything just because hypothetical 10% damage boost, really not the way you should play Paka. Just saying. By the way. Yeah, I know you have Frostbound, but I'm still beating your ass anyway, so how's that doing for you? Oh my, let's go. I thought he got out, man. I didn't think the Golden Blade was going to reach. Okay, can you stop? Get a little CC immune? Yeah, you like that? God, I love that, man. Yeah, Baka ult fine, Baka 3 fine, Baka 2-1, 
Uh, could use something to just suck less, right? I think that'd be good. I think it'd be nice. Yeah, we probably do go hastened. I'm so fed right now, man. We're snowballing super hard, so we might as well try and keep the snowball rolling, right? Kind of min-max it. By the way, in case anybody's disappointed, um, we're not going Belt of Frenzy Baka, just because <laughs> I've actually done it a lot for fun lately, and it's just, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Let's see, do we get to help this dude? Hey, we hit one. I had to predict about a mile ahead. You guys know how, like, when you're on the highway and there's, like, the, the sign for the next exit, but the sign normally comes up at, like, three quarters of a mile away? That's kind of what it's like, where it's like you're jumping from the sign to the exit with Bakasura. It takes a minute to get there. Like, you're ready. You're like, okay, well, I think they'll be here. But then you got to kind of guess at it. Are you actually dead? Wait, you just die eventually, I think. Yoga, I'm coming. God, I hit him so hard right now, man. Do this jump. <laughs> he did the tiniest little baby juke and it's still all it takes, man. All right. What are you building? He has Frostbound and he's so behind he has nothing else so far. Oh my god, man. That was not it. What's funny is it doesn't even matter all that much because of the true damage on our three. So much of his damage early game is just straight up true damage that it's not nearly as impactful as it would normally be. I think if that hit, I'd just commit. What the? Okay. Wait, hang on. No, we're just running. Never mind. I really want to kill her. We're, it's, it's stupid. We're just going to do that. We'll just take free Herald. I think that's fine. I mean, I want to um, I want to get Hasten done, but I don't. I have like nothing to farm to get it done, so we'll just leave it be. Will it? I guess it would. It's a sword. That makes sense, right? You sharpen swords with swords. Might not be the best practice, but you kind of do it. Do you do it? How do you sharpen? I mean, normally you don't, but you can, right? You can sharpen a sword with a sword, but one of the swords has to be sharper than the other sword. I think that's how it works. It is. All right, Gilg, come here. Let me beat that ass again. Going through withdrawals. Oh, boys! I, uh... Dude, something kind of hype. We're getting a silver play button soon. I think. I don't know. I, so far, it seems like the shipping's been delayed like three times, but... <laughs> I don't know how long it's been available for me. I've heard in the past that it takes forever to get the play buttons from YouTube. Um, I don't know if I had just missed this little notification thing that popped up in like my creator tab forever ago or if it actually had popped up recently and I just clicked on it. But, but yeah, we finally get one of those, which is kind of cool. It's funny because originally when I hit 100k subs, I could give a shit and now I'm kind of excited because I get to hang it up somewhere. <laughs> now, now I'm like planning a little bit, which is kind of funny. Hey, Pele. Fine, I'll ult. Oh my god. I didn't want to risk jumping and her just juking it, so we'll just do that. Plus, if she ulted, I think we could have just caught her with the cone autos. Hi, but Rude? This is how you greet your friends? Come here. This man just up-downed on me. I really wanted to turn, because I thought Gilg was still chasing, and that would have been pretty sick. I thought I could just zoom on him real fast. That's okay. God, we really <laughs> really should not have leveled the one this game, huh? I wanted to be Chad and look at where it's gotten me. Well, we're 8-0, so I guess it hasn't really gotten me anywhere bad. But, but, it'd still probably be better to level the two. Alright, I think we'll grab blue buff real quick before we dip. We'll go get hastened online. Um, anyways, getting back to something. I don't think I actually finished my what I was saying about it, because I think it's when we gang Terra. But, um... We're not going to go Belt of Frenzy. For one thing, Belt of the Berserker got nerfed this patch. Like, literally, I think yesterday or today. Um, and what do we go right here? Probably go kind of aggressive. Yeah. I don't know. Shoguns might be nice. Eh. We probably... They, they have, like, one magical damage we need to worry about. It's probably not that big of a deal. Go this. We'll go something over here. Probably a Silver Branch. Um... But yeah, I think we're just not going to go that just because blink and beads are both so important for Baka. Normally, the CC mean on your ult is not remotely reliable enough to just not have beads, so we want that. And then normally your jump, because it's so slow, um, and because you also, it's nice to have a jump to disengage with, normally blink feels so important for actually getting into fights without just walking up to somebody's face and being like, hi, and then just pressing four, right? Normally, they're going to react before you get to do that. So, so we're going blink beads. I know it's not as hype. I'm sorry. 
but it is it is part of why we're not feeding, so it's probably for the better. What is wrong with you? Gilg, you have to stop. Oh my god, we'll CC me and everything. Okay, I'm dying. No, don't make Argus kill me. Okay, we ate like 50 ults. We got Capri ult, we got Gilg ult, we got Hera ult, we got Pele ult. Boom, four. I don't think we got Don's ult. Yeah, that was some nonsense, man. I really was so ready to just like, okay, we're getting some CC, let's ult through it. And then I just started dying. Because they dumped everything on my face. Nice, at least the boys cleaned it up quite a bit. That's good. Considering we didn't get to get too much done right there. Wait, Gilg? <laughs> I guess they did get kept reulted. I did not realize that Gilg was still alive, of all people, man. The man that actually started that fight by tactically inting. I don't think it was tactical. The man that started the fight by inting is the one who's somehow alive that long. Okay, do we just hyper farm for a little bit? That might be a good play. And maybe we do make this an Ike ball. So far, it seems like their team is not having a great time, except for Don's, who's having an incredible time. So I think maybe going Ike ball to punish him would actually be a good play. And we just go like a little silver branch after or something. I don't know, how much attack speed reduction do we get? 21%? I don't know if it's worth. It's probably not worth. It's probably not that important. What sucks is uh, we're not going to have enough defense in this build. I can't really go Nemean and have it pay off very well. We can only get one stack of Nemean. It was all a bait. <laughs> Dude, he got stuck in the wall so he couldn't jump. Man, can you stop it, please? Are we going to jump her ult? Okay, I didn't jump the ult. I kind of threw and she's 1 HP. Damn it, man. If I just jumped in time, we were fine. If I just didn't fuck it up. Damn, she was so low off of that too, man. Oh my god. I want to know how much HP she had. Had to be so insanely close. Probably had like 5. How are the boys doing, man? Everybody seems to be doing okay. Nothing too bad. We got the uh, we got the Chad Rat support. You gotta respect it. Oh, bring it around town, Freya. Bring it around. Let's go. I've been seeing a lot of Freya, man. Why is there so much Freya right now? I don't know if they actually did anything to her. I think I've had three Freya games so far today. I could be I could be tripping. I've seen a lot of her recently. And normally I could, you know, maybe not normally. Recently, I could have maybe taken credit. I could have been like, ooh, uploaded Freya video. Here comes lots of Freya. But I think that was like two weeks ago. So I don't think I don't think it has anything to do with me. I do want to get back to some of those some of those weird characters, man. There are a few different characters. A lot of the characters that are offbeat and smite, I think, are boring as hell. So I don't want to record them. But there are a few that I think aren't that I do want to record right now. Like uh like Kronos, man. I want to get a Kronos game in. But there are a lot that don't get a lot of love that I think deserve not a lot of love that I think deserve to be barely played because they're just kind of shitty and they're not so fun. Um, or maybe not even bad, like maybe not shitty in like a uh, a meta way, but shitty in a just it's not fun to play them at all whatsoever sort of way. Like Hera, my opinion. I don't know if we'll ever do a Hera game unless I just like go back to the A to Z and finish it. And I'm just like, God damn it, we got to play Hera today. <laughs> Oh, Gilg. All right, we might as well go for level 20 real quick, get our Dust Embrace going. Excuse me. Wait, we don't have level 20. Hang on. Actually, do we just go gank this? We probably do. Yeah. I'm coming, boys. Kill them. They're actually so stacked. I got so confused. He didn't, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> We do a little bit. We do a little bit. He wasn't getting popped out of Leaf while Aegis. There we go, man. Get a little triple kill out of it. Your boy's cleaning it up? Do we gotta come back in? I don't wanna get clapped. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Oh. How is that still a quad? 
Dude, I actually maybe could have gotten greedy and gone for the Penta. I didn't really care that much. Maybe I should have. Dude, I... Oh my god, these fat-ass walls, man. These fat-ass these fat walls. It's so... Oh, it's so painful getting over them. This has been plaguing me lately. I don't know what it is. I keep trying to jump over them more than I should, and there's just... I feel like some of the walls are just randomly big. That never catch you guys up. Just trying to jump over one thing, and then you just can't anywhere whatsoever, because it's just so wide. All right, I guess we'll just bit or uh, dip. Get our death embrace done. We're not going death temper. It's actually pretty good to go embrace here. Even though death temper is more chad. Hmm. No, we're not. We're not. Cone autos exist. Death embrace is going to be kind of fat with it. Um, and then last item. I don't think the AK ball matters that much. God, what do we go? Do I just, uh, do I need an XE? They're not that tanky. We probably don't. Maybe I just go oboe. It's been a while, man. Let's go Oboe. Okay. Try and get our AoE damage as on point as possible. I miss Oboe, dude. Oboe is such a fun, obnoxious item. I love just... <laughs> I love how annoying it is to look at the T screen after and be like, wait, why did Oboe do 2146? You know? Where it's just like... It's just absolutely stupid how much you can pump out in certain fights, at least on specific characters. It's one of those items that, like, a lot of time will not be good, and it will still tilt people after the game. They'll, like, bring it up. Just how dumb the item is. All right, do we kill Gilgamesh real quick? Or at least make him sad? Come here. No, come on, come on. Come here. Let me bully. All right, I just want to farm up real quick and get this done. Oh, wait, Loki is feeling it. Is he dead? Is he not dead? Well, that wasn't where he is. There we go. Kind of sucks that we had a beads at, man. I really thought we'd be able to kill him, but I thought I heard him backing closer than he actually was at. Uh, <laughs> okay, this isn't looking the best. <laughs> I can't really go in there without dying. Man, if my stupid blink was up. Excuse me, boys. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what Kepri thinks he's doing right here, man. <laughs> then he panic ulted. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. A little more. A little more. Let's see, I'm, I'm waiting for my three. There we go. There we go. Make sure we play it a little safer since we could. Should we just do FG? I don't know if we can or not. Like, I have Death Embrace. It's probably stupid. We should probably push right. Oh, I mean, if you're feeling it, Freya. Oh, Pyro, that's that's for babies, man. Come on. I actually was so proud of her that she was willing to, like, die to FG real quick. But then, of course, it's stupid Pyro. Now, what is he on? I hear him. All right, let's go get Oboe done. Oh, he's on blue? Dude, sometimes you can hear everything from across the map in Smite. I've been getting that so much this season. Probably grab this. Probably grab this. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like this build shouldn't hit all that hard, yet I feel like it hits really hard. And I think a lot of it comes down to just how much value you can get out of Golden Blade with Baka ult. That if the boys are actually stacking, you're just straight up boosting your damage by a big chunk. So as long as you have enough damage to go with it, you can actually do some stupid stuff. But it's kind of situational. Like, if you're in one of those games where people are constantly just, like, the only chances you get are when they're actually alone, then ironically, it's a little bit bad. Because you, you miss out on that damage amp from Golden Blade. Because it's crazy what you can do, man. It's so, so good. Alright, we should really force FG. We got big lead. They should be terrified. I'm gonna just start hitting this shit. You boys better help. Has anybody done a, uh, a malicious Deathbringer cheese yet on Baka? I've thought about it a lot, just because it's stupid. It's not remotely worth, because, like, <laughs> basically the only thing you care about is lowering your three, and it doesn't really matter very much. But I think it'd be funny because it matters so little, you know? Oh, well, that was a waste. Dude, can I... Okay. 
I love getting CC'd for my for my entire ultimate. <laughs> oh my god, man. We didn't have, we got beads at the very end. The timing was so bad right there. Dude, I'm trying to eat that. Come on. Come on, man. Wait, the fruit! No! <laughs> god damn it, Capri. <laughs> Dude just inted for fruit. Actually, I, I can respect it. Let's be real. Alright, do we actually get anything done here without a uh, without an ultimate up? Nice. Yeah, so I guess maybe, for example, Hera ulted right there. Yeah? While I was in the air? And it came out by the time I landed, so we never got CC'd. And that's how long Baka jump is. Little perspective. <laughs> like, a <laughs> little bit of perspective. Maybe a bit much, high res. Maybe a little bit much. We're legit, like, on a plane just above above the Hera ult because we're up there for so long. We just took a little trip. All right, let's peep the damage, boys. What do we get off? Probably a little bit. We did do Baka things. Look at these exclusive skins now. We wrapped the diamond skin. Look at that shit. I literally bought it this game because all the all the Baka skins are kind of boring right now, I think. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we we almost out damaged the team. You take away like rat and then and then we out damaged all our damage dealers. We did a little bit. Just a little bit. Baka can do a bit from the head, can he? But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down